brewing is rub raw. Recover for 64 hours, which is what my Garmin recommends. <laughs> All right, so today we are training at 14,000 feet of elevation using the Hypoxico Altitude Training System. So essentially what this does is it limits the amount of oxygen. You can set the elevation that you wanna train at based off the amount of oxygen that is flowing from the Hypoxico Training System through this tube into this bag and then it goes into the face mask. So I've been on the Stairmaster for about 25 minutes already, and it's great for training. It sucks to wear uh, because it's literally limiting the amount of oxygen that you're, you're breathing, consuming. We'll hop back on the Stairmaster and keep training at 14,000 feet in preparation for the Leadville 100 Ultra Marathon in the Rocky Mountains of Leadville, Colorado. It's gonna be beautiful. There's a demon in your brain. I think it's time to let it out again. And this world you know goes insane. Okay, so in preparation for Leadville 100, we worked with our manufacturing team to create a nutrient dense meal replacement powder that not only I can use on course, along with gels, G1M Sport, real food, peanut butter and jelly, whatever I'll be eating out there. We wanted to create this for the BPN media team that's gonna be on the course as well. It is a combination of whey protein isolate, pea protein, sweet potato powder, oat powder, flax seed, chia seed, MCT powder, raw cacao, and some natural sweeteners. Full serving will be about 15 grams of fat, 40 grams of protein, and 45 to 50 grams of carbs. And the carbs are coming from you know, great sources, being oat powder, which is just ground up oats, and sweet potato powder. And then we have some fiber in there from the chia seeds, good fats from the MCT powder, uh, flaxseed, chia seed, and then some good protein sources being whey protein isolate and pea protein. So we created this selfishly just for Leadville 100. And here we are right here, this is a chocolate flavor. And we'll be able to consume this, get nutrients in, get calories in. Beautiful, so cheers. Oh yeah, you get a little, a little oatiness, chocolate, smooth. It's, all, it's like proats. It's proats, chocolate proats in a shake. It's gonna be clutch, absolutely clutch. That is the smell of about, yeah, it's probably, probably about 12 workouts right in there. That smells like a, a mixture between a, a hockey locker room and a used pair of shorts after a 30 mile run. <laughs> We're changing things up a little bit. Today's Monday, I'm hitting legs because in about 48 hours, we'll be doing the overnight run. So this week, I'm running 10 miles overnight. You always behind the camera right now, and he's gonna be the one filming Wednesday evening. We're gonna start 8 p.m. on Wednesday night, and we're gonna run, jog, hike, just stay moving for 10 hours until 6 a.m. We'll probably log anywhere from you know, 40 to, to 50 miles, different levels of train. That's in 48 hours. Um, and I'm moving my leg day up to Monday just so I don't have to do it after that 10 hour run. And I'm still hitting legs 
leading into Leadville. You know, right now we're, you know, it is July 26th and Leadville is August 21st and 22nd. So we're about three and a half weeks out at this point. And I'll probably hit two more leg training sessions. Um, not going too heavy. Like today I'll probably work up to 315 and just hang out there on squats, barbell squats with some accessory stuff. And then next week for leg training, uh, I'll keep it even lighter, but just to keep some, some strength training in there, build durability and, uh, and be strong going into Leadville. So, let's jump into it. Can't find me up, up in a way. I give a f about your wave. My neck, I surf every day. Drowning my soul in the basement. Like, I ain't got much in the bank. I got a lot I can say. Got up with God as I say. I hope you forgive my mistakes. Oh, yeah, I run around with a renegade. You should take a seat, save your energy. I try to heal the guys with a band aid. In the time I need you, call your enemies. I landed in a visa and I need a visa. I ain't playing with you, this no mama me. I need a hottie toddy with a body. Yeah, I just spit the knowledge that I'm out of here. That's the day when we come around. This is your time when we want it now. How big is your army? A hundred thousand. If you want the rain, then we coming down. Yeah. Some of the cool, I'm awesome. Keep flipping the Carsons. We should run for the pool. I got the fire flow, the department exhausted. I thought of the title of my next book. What? It's called When, Not If. Hmm, that's good. All right, set five of five. 315 is moving very quick and easy. You gotta be careful with these leather belts sometimes because you will literally pinch all of your skin right in there. There we go, all right. So, weight's moving fast. I predict this last set will move just as fast. Just cause it's moving fast and easy doesn't mean we're gonna push the weight up. We're not necessarily trying to get stronger right now going into lead build. We're just trying to maintain durability and uh, and the strength and muscle activation we have. That's the goal. Not trying to destroy our legs, just hold it. Five reps, very easy. We're gonna breathe in, brace. That's the day when we come around. This is your time when we want it now. How big is your army, huh? <clears throat> Here we go. That squat. Now on to uh, hack squats. And we'll finish off with walking barbell lunges for uh, some glute activation. Watch me, watch me, watch me do this. You see me dancing like I'm Elvis. Just tell your man that it's all in the pelvis. Watch me, watch me. Watch me do this Since 2012 I've been the coolest If you do not get it, my nigga, you foolish That's the day when we come around This is your time when we want it now How big is your army? A hundred thousand If you want the rain, then we coming down Well, I have it set up. This right here is how I will be sleeping at 14,000 feet over the next month, leading into the Leadville 100. Um, so I'll walk you through the way it's set up. As of right now, I'm going to sleep on my side of the bed with my uh, sleep tent. Steph's side of the bed is over there. I don't know how long that will last. Um, we'll see after tonight, but let me walk you through this setup right here. As you can see, I have all types of systems leading into my bed. That is my uh, chili pad that cools my bed down to 59 degrees. 
And then here is the Sierra 100 Hypoxico Altitude Training System. So you flip this thing on and it controls the amount of oxygen going through this tube into this tent here. It first goes into, the, goes into this bag, bag into the tent. I lift this up and then I will just like draft that over me. This has like a weighted chain so it kind of, you know, stays close to my body. I have my pillow in there. So essentially my chest to my head will be in the tent. My body will be out. And then, like I said, as of right now, it's Steph's side over there. I don't know how long that'll last. I don't know what the dogs are gonna think of this, but uh, we're about to go to bed here in the next half hour or so. We shall see. If you're wondering what a crazy person looks like, let me present to you Exhibit A. All right, guys. We're about to go to sleep at 14,000 feet. That's right, I have my... Not we, you. <laughs> I am. I got my tent all set up. I had to make some modifications because I had the bar under my back. Moved that around. And uh, I will tell you, I'm comfortable. I feel great. I will sleep like a baby tonight. My wife, on the other hand, is not the happiest camper, which I can understand, but also not understand. That being said, see you guys in the morning for a big run. I'm filing for divorce. <laughs> it's honestly not bad at all. But this is how we have to say goodnight. Love you. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> this is awesome. This is like one of the coolest things ever. All right, so right now it is Wednesday, July 28th, 7.48 p.m., and we're about to go for our overnight run. Now, the goal tonight is to log miles, and it's either going to be 10 hours or 50 miles, whichever comes faster or sooner. Uh, the goal is gonna be to hit 50 miles prior to 6 a.m., which will be 10 hours, is that 10 hours? Mm -hmm. That's 10 hours, yeah. We got Yoli behind the camera, we got Ian over here. Uh, so right now we're starting at um, Hill of Life here in Austin. We're gonna hang out up and down some elevation here at Hill of Life. And then we'll transition to downtown trails around Lady Bird Lake and just spend some time on some trails. But while we still have some, some sunlight, we're starting at Hill of Life. So here we go, 50 miles or 10 hours, whichever comes first. All right, so currently 8.12. We just started the run about 25, 30 minutes ago. We already lost it. <laughs> so that's kind of going to be one of the biggest things is trying to keep up with him because he is pretty fast. And he's actually running the trails versus us, we're kind of walking it. So. Check this out. This is awesome. Holy crap. It's a TP. It's an awesome find. I might have to come back here and, and sleep here one of these times. That is sweet. So, we just came to an area where it's gonna be very tricky. Like, this one's gonna be tricky. It's pretty even. I mean, Nick is pretty crazy, so he probably went uphill. I don't know where this goes. But it goes up. <sighs> All right, it is about that time for headlamp. Here we go. Why are these thoughts going through your head, man? Because we're in the middle of the woods and it's 9 p.m. And we parked. <laughs> So this hill, so many it's uh, it empties into 
bunch of trails, but it's a good opportunity to practice running downhill on uneven rocky terrain and also just striding up the uphill. You know, talking to some people who have done Leadville, also with military backgrounds, they advised me that you know, the strategy for Leadville is similar to a ruck march where you stride the flats and small inclines and declines to get a little jog in and then the uphill, the incline, just climb it, step it out. Cool, cool. All right, what's going on? So we just crossed the 10 mile mark. We're at 10 miles, 10.34. And my pace right now, I believe is sitting, all right, let's see, 10.34 miles so far, pace. 10 minutes and 41 seconds. So it was nice to spend some time on the hill of life, just kind of going up and down and hitting some trails and some uh, some rockier terrain. So that was the first 10 miles of the night, and now we're just gonna hit some more flats for probably honestly the next 30 to 40 to wrap it up. I just wanted to spend that first 10 on the hill of life going up and down. But now we have 40 more miles left. Let's go. All right, we're resupplying. So at one time, I have 100 milliliters of water on me. I have 70 milliliters in my bladder on my back. And then each one of these holds 15 to 17 milliliters. So my bladder just has water. And then each one of these pouches here, these collapsible water bottles, I have one on each side of my chest. Each one of those will hold two scoops of G1M. So I'll do one water bottle to mix up and two scoops so I can get 40 grams of carbs, 700 milligrams of sodium, and on me at one time, just in G1M, I can be carrying 80 grams of carbs and 1400 milligrams of sodium. Right now we're at 21 miles. Clock's running, three hours, 32, 46, 47, 48 seconds. Refuel up, get some more liquids in me, make a peanut butter, jelly, honey, and banana sandwich, which is about to be epic, and then get back out there. I'm going through a lot of liquids right now, it's hot. All right, so we're gonna stop real quick to announce we just hit halfway, uh, 25 miles, 25.39. Right now time is four hours, 29, 47, 48, 49, 50. So we're halfway. Gotta finish this loop and then two more full. All right, we're at 31, 31.21 miles, five hours, 27 minutes. 
36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So, fuel up, get back out, get two more laps. Stepping off at five hours, 39 minutes, 59 seconds. Now five hours, 40 minutes, 04, 05, 06. This is the moneymaker lap. This lap will take me to mile 41. And after that, we just got nine more miles. So, let's do it. Supply. Let's get some food in. Right now we're at 41 miles, 7 hours, 22 minutes, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. You can get some fuel, some food, some hydration, and then just finish off those 9 miles and that's it. And we're done. Just like that, 50 miles is complete. So, I'm gonna get the watch. We'll save that workout. Don't wanna lose it. Recover for 64 hours, which is what my Garmin recommends. And uh, here we go, 50 miles, average pace, 10.56, completed in nine hours, seven seconds. 50 miles completed in nine hours, seven minutes, one second. That is with brakes. I kept the watch running during brakes. And average pace, 10.56. That's 50 miles, baby. That's a week of Leadville prep. About three weeks out, feeling strong, feeling good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Shout out to Yuli and Ian behind the cameras. Stayed up with me the last uh, nine hours. And right now, what time is it? It's 5, 5 a.m. in the morning on a Thursday. Austin's waking up. This is what we did while Austin slept. We'll see you guys. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. Did you crush that? Fuck. Here you go. Damn, man. 50 miles just like that. My groin is rubbed. Roll. You want me to drive back? No, I'm not. I got it. You want to drive? <laughs> Yuli was having fun with it. That's what it's made for. Dude, you should see this here in Iron Man, bro. <laughs>
love how everyone's barely coming into work. Bunch of runners on the trail, they were like, headlamp, headlamp off. What? No way. I was like, dude, it's fucking dark. I can't see. No headlamps. No headlamps? Yeah. What the fuck is he in that for?